Alright everybody, we're going to take the bandit out for a ride in the snow today. Uh, we put these Shinko tires on, they're dirt bike tires actually. So it turns out that a 16 inch dirt bike tire fits on a 20 inch fat tire e-bike rim. It's pretty cool. Um, they've got a very, very heavy tread on them. You can see this and uh, definitely gives quite a bit more grip. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not really using the kickstand. We've had another snowfall yesterday. Got about four or five more inches. So we got some fresh snow. We can see how this thing does. It's been a blast. I got my headlights on. It's gonna take a little bit of battery juice away from me, but that's okay. We're going pretty slow. We're only gonna go maybe 20, 25 out here. Don't wanna slide out. All right, let's see how she does. like that, right? <laughs> Alright, so when you're riding in the snow there's a couple things to do. For one, you'll see I usually don't even put my feet on the pedals. I kind of have my feet to the side and off. That way I can kind of use them as balance. If I get sliding out too much I can put them right down and I'm safe. The other thing is, if your bike is adjustable, you want to get your seat height a little bit down. And the reason is, if I put my foot down, you're going to notice it's going to sink into the ground another three or four inches. So if your seat is too high, you're going to fall over if you're going to stop, which is not great. The other thing, make sure your pedal assist is pretty low. I only like to keep it on one. The reason there is, if you're going along, got your pedal assist at five. All of a sudden you hit some ice, some icy areas. Your wheel is going to be spinning much faster. So once you hit a nice clean area, that wheel is going to be spinning just as fast and it's going to cause you to wipe out. I don't use my front brake hardly ever. I'm only using rear brake. Front brake is going to cause you to do that. Go down. So fun. All right, let's hit it. Take a slow. So the bandit will hit about 35, almost 40. That's what it's designed for. We are never going to do that out here. Too dangerous. Keeping it around 20, 25 maybe. That's much better. The other thing, you want to slow down in a straight line. You never want to slow down on a turn. So, going straight, I got a turn coming up. I'm going to slow down now. And I'm going to turn. All right, I got my speed up. Oh, that was bad. Slowing down now. The other thing that will help you is uh, if you have a long seat, so this Bandit moped can fit two people on it. You got a long seat like that, there's a lot of e-bike companies with similar seats. You want to scoot back, you want more weight over that rear wheel. If you're sitting too far forward thinking you're going to be pedaling today, you're not going to do that. You're going to eat it very quickly. The more weight you can put on that back tire, the more traction you're going to get and the better your ride's gonna be. I am running a 48 volt battery today. I figured if I put the 52 in, it would be a whole lot of fun, but too much torque. Too much torque, I'd be having a hard time getting traction. <laughs> the 
Rear brake only. Got my feet out to the side. They're not even on the pedals right now. I'm using them as skis.